Hey guys, Max here for Destructoid, and I'm at the Leap Motion offices downtown uh, San Francisco, and they have this thing, this, it's called the Leap, and it's a little, little thing, and it's, well, it makes the Kinect look much stupider than the Kinect has made itself look, so let's go look at it. You know, it's the uh, most accurate motion sensing system ever devised. It costs $70. Uh, it goes on sale uh, this winter. Uh, you can pre-order it now. We're accepting developer applications now. Uh, it tracks 10 fingers to deep sub-millimeter levels in three. And, uh, you know, it's going to, uh, I think, change the way that we interact with computers. It's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's, it's going... I, I feel like back in the, the 90s, the whole thing was like goggles and like using your hands to navigate the internet, and then we kind of moved is like touch screens and mouse and keyboards and now it's like no let's let's go back to that uh, and this is obviously this opens up a ton of doors for, for gaming uh, for for business and science for pretty much every possible application of of the computer uh, and you guys are showing off kind of all different areas of it um, is this going to be I mean you're really opening this up to just to everyone yeah yeah we uh, we're really uh, you know it, the we really just want to uh, uh, Solve what we what we've always viewed as a gap between you know the person and the computer. Uh, you know at this point the computers are really powerful enough to do whatever we want to do, but that doesn't mean that it's always easy to do it. And that's I think mostly because of the the tools that we have in, to interact with them are grossly inadequate. You know if you want to if you want to sort of zoom and rotate in different directions at the same time that's all separate actions. But in the real world you can just pick something up and sort of rotate it around in the air. And uh, you know we have all these layers of, of needless complexity because our uh, our tools for interacting uh, with, with the computers are so inadequate. So I think at this point, removing all that really lets us to you know use the, the sort of uh, the power that we that we've been you know working on over these, you know, all these last few decades. So it's, it's great to finally have sort of uh, access to that, and that the, competing power. The 3D is really a big big thing here because it's yeah. not it's not just like pinch to zoom. It's like yeah, you can feel, like pinch to zoom little, 3D yeah. and like rotate and like you know. Fling it, you know, push it back, and you can do all sorts yeah, of. You can like actually move the yeah. blocks around in Minecraft. And yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> sculpting and, and yeah. I mean, you could you could sculpt in Maya theoretically. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, what originally inspired it. So basically, there's like more or less unlimited possibilities for this. I mean, you know, it's sort of like the, you know, when the first when touch screens finally were used for the first time, except that uh, this touch, you know, the, the thing at the end of the day, you know, touch is not as efficient as a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. So although it's a more compelling experience, which is why people are using them, it's not, they're not really doing more than they could do before. But in this situation, you get, you, know, you get that compelling experience, but you're also able to do more. So it's a really interesting, uh, it's gonna be a really interesting transition. So you can just, you can pick up whatever and use it. And mm -hmm. that's like basic stuff. This is, I mean, this is stuff you're just showing off that you've kind of messed around with. You showed me Half-Life. Yeah. Uh, what are, what are the imp like, imp applications of this for, for gaming? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, where before people were really, we were sort of like recognizing things, and now we're actually like really tracking things. So it's not like, you know, did I punch? It's like, how did I punch? And so like that really lets you do like a whole new level of things, you know? Instead of just saying like, you know, I, I, this means take out a gun, I can actually point and move around and aim with the gun like I could with a mouse or, you know, because, because we can do 10 fingers, you can imagine, you know, I'm pointing over here, I'm pointing over here, I'm shooting like diagonally in different directions, you know, I, I come around a corner, I can actually sort of capture that movement and really map it, you know, in a natural and physical way. It's kind of like a mouse, so oh, like I'm well, picking okay, up, okay. you know what I mean? This is, yeah. I so mean, it's, it's, it's sort of like... <laughs> it's kind of like a mouse. Yeah, ideally we would have like a, a little tutorial here, but this is sort of like the first time using a keyboard or mouse, so it's not easy yeah, if, you don't, uh, if you don't know how to use it. I mean, we're we're going to make it a lot easier, but uh, right now, as I said, that's not the standard. Yeah, and this, uh, of course, this recognizes <laughs> fingers and, and objects and stuff, but it's it theoretically could be mapping whatever, right, mm -hmm. down the road. Mm -hmm. So you could yeah. just have an actual gun up to your computer. Yeah, you could have a gun prop too, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And this is, uh, again, this is, this is $70. So it's, it's not like some crazy like, thing that you will see videos of on the internet. This is a thing you can go pre-order right now. Is this, this is working for Mac and PC? Yeah, Mac, PC. We were working on Linux too. Uh, and uh, you can even, you can even uh, you know, uh, hook both the ones into the computer and they don't interfere. So you can even like put, you know, push the, you know, expand the area out even more and do lots of other interesting things. Oh my God! And is it going to, is going to have like a, a store or are you going to have yeah, special yeah. So apps? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you when you buy it, you get uh, you get sort of this app discovery platform that like helps you find all the software that's been made for the device and it helps you, you know, uh, uh, sort of. 
Uh, and if there's any sort of modules that like enable other other applications, you can also find them through there. And of course, there's basic just drivers will let you kind of just turn it into yeah, like yeah. a super space Touch, yeah, mouse. Yeah. Space, space mouse. mouse. Space mouse. That could be it. Um, space mice. Well, this thing this thing's incredible. I'm really impressed by it. I'm I'm gonna go pre-order one right now. Um, thank you so much for talking and, and letting you. me yeah. letting me tickle your computer with my fingers. <laughs> um, just pay attention to this thing. It's really cool.